I'm at a customer's home today where they have Easy On Gutter Guard installed in their gutters, not just for keeping all the debris out of the gutters, but also for keeping all that debris out of their 15,000 gallon rain harvesting system. So tell me, what do you think about Easy On Gutter Guard? It's great. It's easy to put on, easy to maintain, and it keeps me from having to maintain it. So what was one of the main reasons you decided to have a gutter protection system in general? The main reason was rain collection. And the rain that I want to collect comes from the sky very clean, and once you try to collect it, that could be a problem because you get all this debris in it. And now I don't have that problem. So how did you go about selecting Easy on Gutter Guard amongst all the others that are out there? Well, I looked at the specifications and the quality of the materials, and it just was a great fit. So I purchased this because the fine stainless steel mesh screens out all the uh, debris that I want and keeps the rainwater nice and clean. The rainwater is used, of course, to water the outdoor plants in the summertime. So this, this is the old system that I had. It's just cheap plastic, and all the um, leaves and the needles go through that, of course. So those needles would go, go right yes, through, huh? right. So it, it defeated the purpose of having a, um, a system on the roof. And you have really big trees, don't you? <laughs> yes, yeah. The leaves and needles, and there's a lot of other things that come into it, and it's not only these needles that come in, but there's a lot of small seed pods. You can actually see the seed pods right here. There's a bunch of them. That used to be in my system, but no longer. And yeah. also some of the leaves that come off the other trees, okay. like this tree right here. Right, oh, the maple, and you've got a sycamore mm -hmm. tree back there. Right. Let's go ahead and do a water test. Let's see how well oh, yeah, Easy like on this. Gutter Guard handles that water. The good thing is that, see, it doesn't drip off. It, it stays, isn't that great? Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's what I really like about it, because most of that water goes in the drip. None of it's coming over. What I was originally worried about was that all this water was going to come over and drop off, which would defeat the purpose of having it for the rainwater catchment system. So what do you think overall watching it's that? great. You don't have to clean your gutters out anymore? No, not at all. But in the past, did you clean your gutters out? Yes. Did your wife mind that you got out on the ladder to clean oh, up the gutters? Oh, she didn't like it at all. How old are you? 71. Sorry for asking. <laughs> okay, wow. You're 71 yeah. and you installed Easy on Gutter Guard. Yes. And how was it? How was the install go? Very easy. There were, uh, the option was that they had, you had the tape on there and you, I could use that. Actually what I did was I used the tape just to set them all. And then um, I got the screws, self-tapping screws that you had with the Gutter Guards and put them on. Would you recommend Easy on Gutter Guard to family and friends? Oh, absolutely. I already have. You have a rain harvesting system. Right. And did you install it yourself? Or? Yes. So why did you decide to get a rain harvesting system? Because the um, cost of rain of water is going to triple. And rainwater is free. I mean, if you catch it, it's free. How big is your rain harvesting system? Uh, 15,000 gallons. 15,000 gallons. Three 5,000 gallon tanks. That's a lot. Of water. Oh right. my gosh. Oh, these are huge tanks. So yes, this is a 5,000 gallon 5, tank? 5,000 gallons. I wonder how full it is. It's probably up to here. You can hear it. Okay. See, it's right there. Do you think you'll ever get one of those gauges? Because I knew they have gauges no. that, uh, okay. Yeah, we well, can just do the, yeah. the little tapping <laughs> yeah. test. Right. You know, let's actually open the lid on the top and let's okay. just take a look at it. Water, rainwater. Look, look at, at that. that. How full is that? Well, that's about two-thirds away, full. So it kind of makes it worth it, collecting yes. all that water. Yes. In the summer, on a hot year, we will use the whole 15,000 gallons. So you have your roof, which is the catchment area. Right. The rainwater comes down, it goes through Easy on Gutter Guard, which right. is the filter for filtering out the debris. Right. And then you have the gutter where the water gets into and it's channeled down to the water outlet. It drops mm -hmm. down the water outlet. How does it get from the water outlet to the tank? Well, on the one side of the house where the roof comes down at an angle, that is diverted by a rain gutter that goes across the house and into a separate into a uh, manifold which feeds this side of the house, and then that goes directly into the tanks. And the tanks are daisy chained together so that water seeks its own level. So when one tank fills up, they all fill up at the same level. 
the rainwater that you just, that catchment system comes over here, ends up into the tank. So you'll notice the pump is off right now. But right. if I go like that, it just kicked on. And is that Look rainwater that. coming out of there? Yes. And the reason why we have these flexible tubings is because if there's an earthquake or settling, it doesn't damage the pump or it doesn't damage any of the tanks. In fact, uh, years and years ago, it was illegal to collect rainwater in Monterey County, which seems ridiculous, but that's true. Well, I wonder why because that was. Because they, they figured that you're taking water that was going into the Carmel River. And all that rainwater went out to the ocean. Okay, and so if everybody was collecting rainwater, right. maybe there wouldn't be any more water in the in the river? <laughs> oh, I doubt that. Yeah, but that's what they were thinking. That's what they were thinking. Yeah, right. that's... Does Monterey County offer any special incentives for you to install a rain harvesting system? Yes, they have a rebate system for um, rain catchment, depending on how large and you know how big your system is. Uh, okay. What, what message would you like to give to other homeowners, or what would you like to tell homeowners about rainwater collection? Any any advice or? Yes. Regardless, try to get the biggest system you can and use a system of rain gutters that will keep the debris out, and that's where your product comes in. Behind us is a lawn. Tell me about that lawn behind us. Oh, that's fake wa fake lawn. What do you mean it's fake? It's fake, doesn't, doesn't require any water. And why is it fake? Well, it's uh, improved astroturf. And the reason why we got it is to uh, save uh, water. Well, that's amazing. How many gallons of water do you think you're saving by not having to water this area? Oh, several thousand a week. So if more homeowners would use right. maybe fake grass right. or drought tolerant plants, right. their need for rainwater or their need for water, water is, is going to be significantly yes. reduced. And it'll be a le less impact on the whole community.